All right, going to install these uh, caster arm brackets. Sorry about the light and um, caster arms into the car. So I've welded these GK Tech uh, caster arm brackets in, and I've got the GK Tech caster arms and um, whatnot. So jack the car up and put them in. All right, so one side's out. Copy here. Just sort of even just hear how flimsy they are. And here's my old caster arm. So the new GK Tech ones, as you can see, this one's straight. And this one has like a notch in it. So that when you're on lock, it doesn't hit the caster arm if you don't have sort of big wheels with big offset. And they also have a spacer that spaces it over to one side as well, so you get it further away from the wheel. So I didn't have a sway bar in my car, so I only had to do undo this bolt here, which actually does house the sway bar as well. And this bolt here, that one was a 14, and that one was a 17. And then these ones here were different because I actually crashed my car before, so I had to make a, a custom rad support. So, yeah, they'll be different in your car, but I'm pretty sure they're 14s as well. All right, I'll uh, film this next one for you. All right, let's see the other pair out. So, now we'll uh, put all the new stuff in. All right, so because it was a perfect space in between here before, and now that brace is on there on the bottom, it's added a little bit of extra height, so I don't have, actually have any of the right bolts and it's a Sunday. So I've measured up the height that I need with some bolts that I do have. And I've just set this one up in the vise and I'm gonna just cut it down and test fit it. And if it's right, I'll cut all four to that. So I'll get to cutting. Alright, just cut up all my bolts. So it's not going to focus. This thing is the crappest thing for focus. But, yep, they're all chopped up now. And um, now I'll put them in the car. That's one in. It was a little bit of a mission because uh, the last one must have been a little bit bent when I drilled my holes for this. So it didn't quite line up, so I had to like pry the front of this forward, the back of this forward to like get them all to line up. So now I'm about to put these arms in. What you want to do when adjusting any arm is, let's see, get this into some light for you. Sorry, one sec. Is wind the middle nut, like adjust them all in as far as as far as they go. Which would be this to still come in more. Here we go, sorry. This is weird to do with Yeah, just so I can play the game. Sorry. Have the arm adjusted like fully, fully in, which is how we're going to want these. Uh, let me get this other bush, sit that in there. So we want this to be sort of as far away from the wheel and that's also going to push it further this way. And then what you want to do is adjust this middle nut and that will wind from here out and here down like out as well when you adjust this middle nut it's going to go like that rather than if you have this adjusted out here it's going to unevenly sort of spread the load so always start them down the bottom or like as, as far together as they can and then wind the middle nut and that'll evenly s start spreading it apart so i'll put that one in now all right one side done Get this torch so you can see. 
set them in and underneath let's get this uh, other side done All right guys, this side's all done. It's actually a lot easier than the other side, so I'm stoked. Car's actually, oh, let's uh, see if we can sort this camera out. That's better. Car's starting to come together. The list is still massive, but um, I suppose if I'm ticking off at least one or two things a day, I'm pretty happy. Um, not sure if you saw these wheels. Um, I'm, I haven't edited any of my videos or kept up with anything, but yeah, I'll tie this in with another video and um, keep you guys updated. I'll see you probably on the next one. Okay, about to spray inside my boot. It's all prepped, ready to go. Got the car masked off because the last time I sprayed my interior, my car ended up looking silver. So the rest of the car is silver and I just want to match it up. And I figure, why not do it now? So yeah, just about to mix my paint, and I just found a really, really, really cool thing for my paint. See this? No spillage. And you can put the lid straight back on. So I'll about to mix my paint now, one to one, with thinners. And I'll spray it, clear it. Better put some glitter in it, just, you know, because, yeah, glitter's cool. All right, let's get it. All right, I just mixed up my paint. Candy silver is the color I'm spraying it. Let's put in the gun and uh, spray it. All right, I just finished all the undercoat. Now to uh, do the clear. Alright, just mix up the clear with plenty of glitter in here. Every different colour that I had. Blue, green, purple, red, pink. Should be pretty spicy in there. Alright, my chicken schnitzels. It is done. A little bit hard to see the uh, flake at the moment, but... Whoever sees my car in RL will love it. Stoked with how the boot looks. So much cleaner now. Now let's get on to... Uh, I think I'm going to make the manifold next. See you guys soon. Alright, homies. Now I'm putting my fuel system together. It's just sprayed the boot. Obviously last night, like I showed you. It's just out there. So now we're going to... Uh, Put the fuel system in the car, run the lines, and uh, get that sort of things done. Let's get into this. All right, so I've got all the fittings in the fuel system now. I just need to put these last two in for the feeds out of the twin pumps in there. And now what I've done is I've drilled and uh, put riv nuts in its mounting positions. So I've just got to install the last two riv nuts and then bolt it in, and then I can run all my fuel lines. All right, well, this is what it looks like. Obviously, I sprayed my boot last night and showed you guys that, so now this is mounted. Give it a little shake. It's not going anywhere. It was actually a little bit of a mission to make sure those roof nuts were in the right spot, but yeah, it worked out well. And it looks tidy as, and they're nice and black, so now I run my fuel lines from the tank itself. Actually, I have to install my fuel pump in there, then run the return and feed line to here. So we'll do that now. All right guys, back to the fuel system. Went and got all my fittings today and some more line. So now I'm gonna start connecting everything up into the boot. It's been raining today, so still is raining, pretty crap weather, but this is where I'm at. So I'll start getting it all done. All right guys, first step's done. So I'm using Dash 6 90 degree AN fittings to come out of here 
go to black teflon line and then that actually y pieces can you see that off into a dash eight fitting and then that is going to have a 90 degree come off there and then go onto a hard line here so that's so i can run the twin pumps into the single line and then that'll split back at the front to twin feed the rail so let's keep going all right so it's pretty much all done this side of things i've used those obvious fittings to go to there and now i'm going to run the two dash six lines and one will sort of run along here you can't even see them sorry and then i'm just going to run into the top part of my fuel tank and um one's going to return to the fuel tank itself and one will feed the surge so i'll have a uh, warbro 460 liter per hour intake pump in the tank which will feed to the surge and then twin uh, 460s out of the surge through the car and into the fuel rail so i need to get some uh, more fittings tomorrow so that i can uh, keep going with this and get some um, fuel line um, like holders or spaces or locators I'm not sure what you'd call them but i'll show you guys tomorrow i'm actually stoked with how this is looking and it's it's looking real tidy so See you tomorrow.